we have simple pieces of code. We'll drag those into place that will allow us to turn the motion of this wand into an on-screen spell. Teach me a spell. We're going to begin with a, a classic spell, a canonical spell, uh, one that we can pronounce properly here. <laughs> uh, Wingardium Leviosa. We'll pull in a loop, one of programming's most magical powers. And we're going to loop through. We're going to say every one millisecond, set the location to a coordinate. What would you like to levitate? We've got pumpkins, feathers, quaffles, goblets. Let's go for a goblet. And now? The goblet is following my motion. The goblet moves. Now, you obviously know how to build this spell. How would a child who's using this know to put in loops and so on? Yeah, so we guide you step by step. We, we have uh, a series of game-like challenges that we can make in Gorgio. We can make beans and toads and mandrakes grow big. We can make Reducio. We can make them grow small again. A lot of the classic spells that you'll recognize from the books and movies are makeable, interactable. I have seen some people online saying it would be very cool to be able to point this at smart home gadgets and turn them on with spells. Are yeah. there any plans to do anything like that? Right now in the prototype you're showing, uh, it's mostly within Cano, but because it's all based on these real technologies, the attachment to other services is uh, something that is quite simple for us to open up. Your company's released lots of different coding experiments for mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. The Harry Potter one is one of the more expensive ones. Does that just reflect the price of that brand, having that stamp on it? We think the price point is is a really good price. Like the software engagement, even on our first computer kit, which we're quite well known for, uh, is on par with Snapchat. It's not a toy, it's a tool, uh, and you'll get a lot out of it for your 99. I've been to Ollivander's wand shop in Universal Studios. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> did you get to do that as a research trip? We did actually, we <laughs> took like five people. <laughs>